Ever wondered if you can run two or more solar charge controllers into one battery bank? Maybe you want to mix MPPT and PWMs? Or expand your system without replacing everything? Well, the answer is yes. Here's the setup. One battery bank, two or more charge controllers, each connected to its own solar array. Charge controllers are not connected to each other. They only share the same battery. You can absolutely mix MPPT with PWM charge controllers in the same system. Just make sure that both charge controllers are set to the correct battery voltage and that the battery chemistry settings match, whether it's lithium ion phosphate or AGM. The MPPT will optimize its array and the PWM just passes voltage through, basically. But there will be no conflict as long as the both charge controllers are reading the battery correctly. A better option would be to use two MPPTs working in parallel, connected to one battery bank. Benefits of this would be that each MPPT will find its own maximum power point, will get better performance with shades or different roof angles on your property. If one fails, the other or others will keep working. It's a smart move if you've got panels that don't really match together. Put them in a different array with a different MPPT charge controller and you can use them. An example would be one array, an MPPT connected to your roof and another one connected to, say, the side of your house or a ground mount or a portable solar array to boost charging in your cabin while you're there. A lot of off-grid systems use uh, non-communicating MPPTs, meaning they don't talk to each other. And that's totally fine. They'll each measure the battery voltage and respond individually to whatever information coming back. Some systems offer communications through MPPTs, enabling them to share information coming from the battery. Usually one MPPT is the master and the rest are the slaves, so to speak. That way you get coordinated charge states, synchronized absorption, to the battery, centralized monitoring, and even smarter temperature sensing of the battery. But it's more expensive, and it would be overkill if you don't have a big system. Make sure each array and controller has its own properly sized fuses and breakers. There should be a breaker on the battery side for each controller, adequate wire sizes for your system. Don't connect one solar array to several charge controllers. This method is great for anyone starting small and are considering expanding later. You don't need a giant, say, 80 amp MPPT if you're only running 400 watts of solar right now. Start with one MPPT, and when you grow, just add another with its own panels. That way, you keep it modular. It's pretty smart. So to recap, multiple charge controllers on one battery bank is totally safe. You could use MPPT and PWM charge controllers. It will work fine. MPPTs with communication options is useful, but really not required. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If there are any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to check out these two videos next because YouTube wants you to. And see you in the next one.